Welcome, everybody, to the Jiggle Biggle, where friends get together each week to talk about the movie of the week. I'm Elmer. I'm Lisa. I'm Katie. Katie took some time there, but we forgive her. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this week, it was Katie's spin. And Katie, what did you spin? What did you pick? And why? I spun... Um, it was milit. No, no. At first, yeah. it was cops and robber robbers, oh, right? Yeah. Yes. And then it was cops and rob cops and robbers again. Cops and robbers. Cops and Roberts. <laughs> and then I spun uh, war and military. So that's just like a step up from cops and robbers. Yeah. Um, it's the same thing, really. Yeah, same pretty thing. much. Chinese, and Vietnamese, same thing. Same thing. <laughs> According to Katie. Dominican. <laughs> Puerto Rican, yeah. Mexican, Filipino, <laughs> you know, you're yeah. Indian, whatever. Laotian. Okay, so uh, <laughs> the second spin was Disney classic. So at first I wanted to pick 1917 or All Quiet on the Rest Western Front, but then those aren't Disney military-ish movies. And then I thought of Operation Dumbo Drop because that's a Disney movie. So I picked that. Did you think of it or did someone suggest No, it? that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Elmer is convinced Lisa planted the seed of... of, of hey, hey, Operation that should be Elmer. behind glass. Oh, I just threw your post -it. They took my post and threw it. First, you wrote on it and now you threw it. I mean, you might as well go and, and tear up the Constitution at this point with the way I you're like treating using a sacred paper. writings. <laughs> so, Operation Dumbo Drop. Uh -huh. That was it. <laughs> Katie is... <laughs> she's having an attack. Um, yeah, so I picked Operation Dumbo Drop. I didn't remember pretty much anything about this movie. <laughs> You did remember Chris Rock was in it. Yeah. <laughs> I got yes. the text yesterday. Oh you know, my god. When we were drunk watching this, uh, we rarely ever I was tipsy. Very... I was that drunk. Okay, fine. We were well, I was drunk. You were tipsy. When we were like shit faced. <laughs> kind of, yeah, because like our friend was over and the margaritas were flowing, and we were like, you know, let's just put on the operation. I, it was interesting that for watching a movie centered around like Asian, an Asian country, Asian culture. Mm -hmm. We were eating Mexican. We were. And drinking Mexican. We Same were. thing, really. Same thing. Same, Same thing. thing. Well, before we get <laughs> into this, uh -huh. basically, Katie, give us a quick synopsis. If no one's ever seen it, what okay. is the movie? So, a quick synopsis would be imagine Vietnam, mm -hmm. Vietnam War. Yeah. Small village in Vietnam. All of a sudden, she finds out it's Korea. Oh shit! I'm the same thing. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, there once was a huge elephant, and then a candy bar came into the village, and was found. The wrapper by like um, environmentalists. They got so angry they shot big elephant a village. Then they had to go acquire a new elephant, and one flew. And it went into the village. And then that is the movie. <laughs> oh. wow. That's pretty much the summary because nothing happened in this movie. Except, no, there was the moral like elephants fly. Yeah. Yeah. The poor elephant. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, let's, let's get to let's it. Let's get the rating. But you know what? Before but, we do get to the scores, what's the bias? No, no, no. Just I, to I let, let people know that if you're not watching on YouTube, oh, yes. we oh, yeah. are also you screwed up, on man. Spotify. Hey, I'm introducing it now. So I didn't screw up. Spotify, we're on Wombat. We're on. Uh, we are not on Wombat. Ones? We are on YouTube. There you go. Instagram and Spotify. Boom. And iTunes? No, not yet. No. Soon. Maybe. <laughs> It's here under the lamp. Wait, I'm trying to look up. Um, hold on, internet movie database for an official. I mean, your synopsis it was a 10. No, oh, it, was it was not. It was yeah. a 10. So, I <laughs> you a 10, you not one like American <laughs> racist. I'm sorry, so <laughs> I do. This is like a first time in a while. Yeah. I'm coming with a bias score. Of 
Excuse me. <laughs> well, you you before it's we it's not my real be score. Before we watched it here, you made it really clear that you had watched it recently and that you loved the movie. Two and, months ago, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've seen this movie probably on and off since it came out in theaters because my mom took me because she oh. loved elephants. Um, elephant fly. probably like uh -oh, 15, both tags here. 15 to 20 times <laughs> I've seen this movie in my life. I used to own it. I love this movie. Anyway. If you hear any kind of rubbing on the microphone, it's our cat. The fat one. He's emerged. And the other he's a one. What? He's emerged from his he's, fatness. He's like, I am summoning greenies. Hey, don't say well, he can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, he would have went crazy you. if he heard that. Mm -hmm. He's on a diet on. again. Oh, oh, go, I'm score. allowed I'm to go on now. Okay. <laughs> yes, give him permission. Well, thank you. Because this is becoming a recurring theme. Um, I am biased. This isn't my going to be my my rating score, but bias mm. is number ten. It's a ten. It's a ten. It's a number ten from Ling Lin. <laughs> number ten. Okay. But look, having to uh, it sucks when you have to like dissect a film that you really enjoy just just to enjoy. Yeah. So Chop it up. Like I'm gonna cut this all. Oh, up. he's ready. <laughs> He's ready because there was a there was a lot of heated moments where we had to like pause. Oh, there was one heated moment yeah. in particular yeah. that there was video footage of. That will never be aired because it got deleted. <laughs> oh, you deleted it? Yes. Okay. Wait. I need to see this. Oh, oh it got deleted. Now oh. it lives on in my memory because yeah. I was there. Because you wouldn't pay attention to it. No, thing. it's not true. Okay, really quickly before we go on to the story. <laughs> this was what happened. We were like maybe 20 Re minutes. it. Home, and my main question was, what purpose did the village serve in helping the, the army? And what was the purpose of the elephant being brought back? Like that specific elephant being brought back. They so were replacing it. Every because... time you went to answer the question, you were starting from the beginning of who Ray Liotta was, who Danny Glover was. I had all that. I knew all that. that I just didn't know. Question, I just didn't know what was the purpose. Like what what were they doing? And it was a it was a heated back and forth. It was but even even our friend said he wasn't paying attention. He wasn't understanding he the question said, either. Because you wouldn't let me talk. Because, Wait, was this when you were drunk? <laughs> were you drunk screaming? <laughs> oh yeah. No, no. <laughs> but, yeah, but but to be fair, I would he was so annoying at that moment that even sober I would have been yelling at him. Um it was it was because I just needed that specific information without taking the scenic route around it. Like, I just needed to know, what was the village doing for the army? And I was trying to explain that. But you kept beginning at, well, Ray Liotta is this person, and then he goes to the village, and Danny Glover, it's like, I just needed the answer. The village was doing this. Oh, okay. Something with the trail that constantly moves. That's all That's I think I remember. Ah. It's a so what? anyway, anyway. When we get to the scores. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm Linda. exhausted. Okay. By your nonsense. Okay. In. I feel like I'm lying down. Get your phalanges ready. In three, two, one, go. Five, four, five, four. Oh, this is not a five. This is a three. <laughs> you know you one. I'm going to do a four. Okay. So six. Three, four, six. Three, four, six. Wow. Could have we, been almost a broke, three, four, we five. We broke it. We broke the tie. If Katie would have stuck with a five, we would have kept going on the the sequential four, five, six. But so Katie gave no. It a, he he a had a three. I gave it a three. She gave oh, it a four. Oh no. Oh okay. So, so you would have had to come down. Or you would have had to give it a okay. five. So I I stuck with a six. Mm -hmm. I still think it's funny. It's a Disney movie, so like you're not really gonna get grit right in like. A Disney war movie. True. It's in the nineties. I think it's just it's it's a it's a nice like family fun film from the nineties. Is it as deep as it could have gone? No. Could it go further? Yes. But that's why I gave it a six. So the internet gave it a five point two out of ten. A twenty eight Rotten Tomatoes. And uh oh, here we go. 
and Google is a 68. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, it's it's not it's not like an out of the park film if you really break it down. I want to ask a question that I don't think we <clears throat> we usually ask. Like we we'll go through why we gave it the score that we did, but I don't feel like we ever do that with our bias score. Like what about when you saw the movie originally? made it that 10 for you or like what in the you're in asking the, me to go back to 1995 well i mean you vividly remember seeing it in theaters so okay. I'm, I'm, I'm imagining there's like memories attached so, so to it so like that. what what about that experience i think made it such a movie for you that it's like you look back and it's like that was a she's 10. like my mom got me an extra large bucket of absolutely not that back was then not it was like two dollars <laughs> now it's like 40. <laughs> So you really want to know? I mean, I asked. Okay. <laughs> so, ninety-five. We're saying ten, depending on when when this came out. Um, my mom loved elephants. That was her favorite animal. She loved Dumbo, even though she always hated the whole mom stuff in in it. Um. And, of course, she was a child of the 60s, right? She was born in the mid-50s. Was she a loud moviegoer? Like, she made yes. noises? Yes, especially if there was, like, a guy. I, I didn't like, the older I got, I couldn't stand going to movies with her because she was so loud and obnoxious. <laughs> and and I still told her this up until, like, probably close to the time she passed away, we would talk about it. Um if there was a guy that she would like hell is like vibing in like oh he's hot she'd make all these like antics and like little pitter patters and oh i'm like oh god that's just gross um <laughs> so anyway we liked the film because my mom and i like danny glover movies we liked ray liotta um and we also watched a lot of different like war movies my mom loved war movies as well and action movies and it was just it was an easy film to watch for us and then when it would hit when it hit um uh blockbuster this was one of our routine like we would rent it like every couple months because we just love this movie we enjoyed the comedy of it um yeah because we weren't ones that liked you know trashy films like like a lot of sexual stuff it was um, wholesome we didn't Okay, sure. It was a wholesome war. Because we didn't uh, really see war or gore well, or anything. Like Disney, that. don't get me wrong, we watched like gruesome like war movies, but I'm talking about like we didn't watch like smut or we yeah. didn't watch like um Gratuitous a lot war, of like, deep so. romance horror was not a big thing for us. Um anything like that. So like it was just you know, and then over time and my mom and I we would still laugh from time to time randomly talking about it. Do you want to hear? Some of the movies that you you could have watched in July 1995. Now I'm just bringing up other movies that were playing okay. around that time. Okay. Instead Let's of see if seeing I actually watched Operation play, Dumbo we Drop. We went to the movies all the time. <laughs> you could have been watching Congo. Um, it was playing in July 95. That was too intense for me. How about oh, that? I remember watching that as a child. That arm ripping scene and those yeah. white monkeys, like. To this day, terrifying me. Like that's Congo all I remember. Like for us, girl, now tickle Amy. <laughs> I wanted tickle Botat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what else? Apollo thirteen was we playing that during that time. We saw that in theaters. Pocahontas. We saw that. Oh, I saw that Pocahontas. Not with my mom. Batman Forever. Saw that in theaters. Is that the one with Two Face and the uh, Riddler? Batman Forever? Yes. Which is the one with like the weird penguin thing with his like That's Batman Returns. Yeah, Batman Returns. I think that was earlier in the 90s, like okay, 91. What else? Free Willy 2. Uh we waited to see that in for Blockbuster, but we went and saw the first one. The I Indian liked. in the cupboard. Saw that that might have to be renamed in today's society. So it's the Native my, American. Uh, the indigenous person. <laughs> In in the in the, in the cabinets, yeah. <laughs> so my so like my family, I have um, one of my aunts. She she married a, a man from Mexico um, in the fifties. And growing up, my cousins they were second cousins, but they were like a little bit younger than me. The the one that kept saying it, and Jake used to he was obsessed with that movie, but he used to call it 
he used to call it the Mexican in the cabinet <laughs> because he was part Mexican. He was. So he like kind of identified, but he couldn't figure out that the, it was like not a person from Mexican. Mexico. It was a Native American. Yeah, but he was like six, like five, six at the time. So, okay. All right. So there you go. Did that, did that appease you? Sure. Because I have some criticisms of this. I mean, I I could I could give some positive things. Oh, you can. About, yeah. Okay. All right. Let me sit back because. Go. Well, don't sit back too far because it's not many. <laughs> I will say that uh, <laughs> Ray Liotta, he fit the the bill as an army grunt. He looked the part. Like. Oh, he I, was I, so cute. I totally believed him as in in his. That role. was another biased thing my mom loved. She thought he was hot. One hundred. I'm like, damn. Even Danny Glover looked good back then. Damn. Okay, but when he was wearing that like high <laughs> slit <laughs> dress, it was so line. funny. Every time I see that scene, I always laugh. Dougie Doug. Uh huh. Chris Rock. Well, I, was, I was calling Dougie Fresh. <laughs> you always you, you you did that with Cool Runnings. But at least well. listen. At least in this case, Dougie Fresh is not too far from Dougie Doug. She's saying Chris Rock. Well, that's different. <laughs> Katie, even, even while we were all drinking Wait. and watching this film, we, we literally were like, who do you think Katie's going to mix up? I Doug? get I get mixed up on the name, not the person. <laughs> well, because like, okay, so you know when you go into the Disney Plus app and it has that still shot? Uh -huh. And it was like, Dan, I think it was like Danny Glover and Ray Liotta in the front and like in, behind them is like the car and then Dougie Doug's character is kind of in the back. I'm like, holy shit, is that Chris Rock? And then like the credits rolled and across the screen it said Dougie Doug and then I texted Elmer. I was like, oh no, I did it again. <laughs> Does she bring his spirits in? Okay. What because else? I swear they look alike. Like but he wasn't all that funny in this it. movie compared to like Cool Runnings. No, he wasn't. I mean, there was one I line that I, I wrote down where he was like, I was in love with a fat woman once, but she never listened to me. <laughs> I <laughs> so laughed at that. The elephant. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much where it ended. My my positives. I just struggled with this movie. I mean, I know it was made like early in the 90s, but like the CGI was so dated. There was a point where, like, you see the cargo plane, and it literally looked like a parade float. <laughs> like, there's a car underneath, and they just built a plane on top the way that it was, like, <laughs> driving. And then the one... What about the green screen? Oh, man. Oh, that... there the helicopter. <laughs> that and... I love that part. The scene okay. where, like, um, they're trying to throw the elephant out of the plane, and... There's supposed to be all this turbulence. You would imagine they're like going like this. No one is moving. They're just like still, and like the plane is going down. There's not no, even the like a, have to a pour, light actors, rocking or anything. The actors had to fight with fake turbulence. Yeah, but still, like, come on, like throw yourself around or something. And like they did. They did. You didn't notice? Like there was moments where they like sometimes it was like somebody said, "Okay, imagine the plane going down onto the side." And then they go, okay, okay. And then as they're fighting, they, they it's like they do this like aggressive lunge. <laughs> like, Listen, I, I wrote, think they I the wrote down, they don't even seem to be struggling when the plane is going That's down and the elephant is being attempted That's to be tossed true, out. They overacted it. So See, bad. what they should have done was built the ins like the interior of the plane, put it on one of those motion ride things, yeah, and then just Shake. like, okay, try to survive this, and then it's like <laughs> Well, that I mean, the whole motion ride thing, that's what I felt during the boat scene, because it felt like this was literally a Disney ride where or Universal yeah. Studio where like the, the, the boat is exploded. going down. Everything is exploding around, but the boat isn't even moving. It's like not even. Come on, you have to admit the comedic, like the comedic, like little cheesy moments. Right, they have this huge fight on the bridge. Worst choreographed fight I've ever All seen of in my it life. Was bad because yes. you could tell, like, he got pushed, but like Ray Liotta's hand was already gripping the guy's leg. Like, yeah. oh, this was so he wouldn't fall. <laughs> I like I like the boat the scene where like all of a sudden you hear like the boat coming and then it's the Marie Antoinette and come on he's like he, it's like he just he's a Frenchman 
So he's on everybody's side. So then he flipped over the president to like the head of the oh, of, of the Viet Cong. Hey, Bushi, what up? Hey, Bushi. But yeah, I, I, I just felt on. like throughout this movie, like the characters, it felt like they had nothing to do. They were just in the background as like scenery. Yeah. And it's like you have a you have good actors. You have Ray Liotta, you have Danny Glover, you have so. Dougie Doug, Dougie Fresh, who's who's funny, you know, in his own right. Even what's his name? Dennis Leary. But they were just like they were just there. I don't think so. I think one, I would say only one of the actors were like that. It was the guy from like the one that always messes everything up. And he's like from Uh oh, you guys froze. Wait, 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 wait. You guys change the film. I think if you took out rewind Doug, a little because you like froze and then cut out. So, okay. Rewind just a little bit. So, I would argue that the only character that if you were to just remove and the movie could keep going on is the guy from Iowa who's like a screw up. If you removed him, it wouldn't have changed the film. I think Dougie Doug was funny because he played that like nervous paranoid kind of gullible guy because he's like about to get out and now they throw him in a, on a last ditch mission. Oh my god, in the crow part. That was god, funny. But that was so few. I, I liked all of that like where the kids telling him like, "Okay, if you see this, and he's like, like what does that mean?" <laughs> he's like, "What does it's, that mean?" <laughs> yes. Like if you took Dougie Doug out, the movie wouldn't would have been altered. I think Dennis Leary, he's the man that gets everything. I liked how he was all like cocky and stuff and then when Danny Glover just like boils it down and then all of a sudden Dennis Leary is like so done that his secret came out and then all of a sudden they're like you slept with the big man's wife yeah and I then thought he it was his it, daughter but... yeah I mean it was funny with the big huge pink horse pills that look like giant Benadryls like I find that the it's cheesy yes could the acting be better yes but I disagree, a, like like on a hard that all of them. I were, think I were, were, were like you. I I just think that if you go back and you watch the movie, you see actors that are just kind of there in the background. And granted, Dougie Doug, yes, he had some scenes with the crow, but like even that was like when when he really tried to shine, that was like towards the end of the movie. No, you. Okay, had what about the part at, at at the end when like the bad guys? come to the village and he's still hanging in the tree and he's like get me a ladder and then he hears like the angry voices or like gunfire and then he just pulls his ripcord and falls like there were some like is that considered slapstick comedy I, it was because in the beginning when you first meet him he has like every religious shrine like he is living an early form of that coexisting bullshit Okay, because whatever can bring him luck. And then when he's talking, you got Dennis Leary, who's trying to hustle the guy with him over a bottle cap that he just popped off 30 minutes ago. You know, like that, that was funny, uh -huh. you know, and he's just sitting there always like shaking around and like, the, I can't remember what they have on the helmet. It's like, don't shoot. I'm sorry. Or something like this dude. He is so wired. And I get it. I get why. Like I, 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 I cannot agree with you on this at all. That's okay. Because I, I just felt I like I, I felt the movie was. Lost. I felt the movie was slow. Like I said, characters just in the background. Over an hour in, then you oh, get a you. sentimental um, uh, story with like the kid and the elephant, and then at the end of the movie, you have a group that was barely like a unit now working as this one cohesive force see that's what like, i liked like that's I what liked, i didn't like i no, i liked like in the beginning how they were just like thrown together like a bunch of people that didn't really want to be involved in this they were just like okay we got a mission and i i love that trope in books and movies where like you have the leader like danny glover but then the second leader, Ray Liotta, they're constantly at like, who are we going to listen to? Then we have the guy with the briefcase, with that briefcase scene. He's like, ah, I didn't need to I open it. <laughs> with like, my man's with his rhino trank. And then when the when he like realizes, oh god, if I leave, I'm dead. He has to walk, like do the walk back of shame, and he's still trying to open his suitcase. Um, and then we have Chris. Ro oops. Dougie, Dougie, <laughs> yeah. Dougie, Dougie Doug, Doug, 
who's the comic okay this is kind of cliche he's the comedic black character but i still liked all of his funny stuff mm -hmm. and then we have the kid who's constantly like uh you're american like you're not number one because he comes from the country that like currently is in a war and mm -hmm. i felt so bad for that kid because he lost everything and he didn't even have a like a village to call home so that even impacted the last scene because they, all the all the people grew together, but he formed a bond with Danny Glover's character, and it was like Danny Glover is being sent home because he's his mission's done. But now Ray Liotta's staying, and the kid gets to stay in that village now. And there's Botat with his new home. Um, they straight up kicked. <clears throat> They straight up kicked that kid out of the other other village. Like, come on, you have to admit it was the the, the guy who was hustling over the elephant, and he I can't remember the character's name, but he's like, I'm blind, I am blind, and then he's like, still saying, oh, still take me, still take me, you know, like, come on. I was hoping we'd see that guy again, like, and oh. I recognize the voice, and I'm like, oh, wait, that's the guy from uh, Revenge of the Nerds, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, the, the the second one, Booger. Booger is, like, protege when he's, like, when they went on spring break. But, like, that dude, he's still, like, acting. I can't think. Can you look up his name? It's his, he has such a distinct He's been around voice. for years. Like, I think they, they did a story on him last year, I think it was. James he, Hong? Yeah, yeah. He's been acting. He's 94. Oh, damn. yeah, yeah, he's 94. He's been acting, I think, since he was like 20. Damn, like, he's one of the like career. living oldest continuous actor. Well, get this the kid, he only, um, this is his only movie. So I looked it up on Internet Movie Database and it's just only this film. So I was like, I wonder if he's like, look at his Instagram. He's hot. Oh, I didn't. I, Lynn grew up because, like, oh, I think Elmer <laughs> did this, or it was our friend. I can't remember. And uh, they held the the insta. No, I think it was Elmer. They held the Instagram up. I was like, damn, he grew up. Hot. Okay, like, like. Mm -hmm. So is he still at? He's not acting anymore. Mm -mm. I don't know. I didn't look more into it. He just was like. No, they said he uh, gave up acting. Oh, he did. But what is he doing now? That's the thing. Right. Was he in the states or was he in Vietnam? I don't know. I didn't look. I just saw the picture and I was like, man. Oh, because like, um, mm, all that running around bow tap. Mm -hmm. I liked at the end, he's like, you are number one. <laughs> and that that heartbreaking scene when I was like, this is the biggest thing that annoyed me about this movie because it just shows true American uh, values. And that is... Oh, yeah, the mission's canceled. We don't give a shit. Just let the kid and elephant do whatever. We're not going to follow through with this. We're not going to give the village back their elephant after we got their elephant killed. We're mm -hmm. not going to replace it. We're just canceling it. And I'm just like, you selfish ass. Like, <laughs> that, I mean, that annoyed me yeah. so much because they were willing. Like, no, let's just finish the mission. We have the elephant. We have the kid with the elephant. Let's go finish this. And he's like, no, it's because it's a waste. the town wasn't. I mean, I agree with you, and it's frustrating, like on a human like level. But because this is one of the things in the big, like you know, back and forth we had, um, is that the point? Like the why are they doing all of this? Besides, they have to replace the elephant for the ceremony, um, for the what was it, the fire king to ride on, something like that. Um, the that the, like that uh, that village was um a spy village for them because they needed intel to know where the ho chi minh trail was and then once they found that the ho chi minh trail was moving they no longer needed them and then uh, did you notice at the end they got word that the ho chi minh trail moved back and then all of a sudden they needed the village again and i was like that's just what it is. It's like it's it's shitty. Yeah. But it's... at the same time, it's like, you know, you get what you get. And then and it's also on the same too, because that that um that village was getting protection as well from, from yeah. the US military. But it just it just 
is sad. Yeah. And then, like, when Danny Glover's like, oh, my mission's ending. I'm going home. The raw emotion of that kid crying Mm -hmm. because he's bonded with this guy. And this is back during Vietnam. The villages don't have, what, addresses. They don't have phones. So this is literally a true forever goodbye. How sad is that? (laughs) Like, how Yeah. The only thing I could think of is if Danny Glover left, because remember he was going to go retire in Fort Lauderdale with his brother. If he left his brother's address with Ray Liotta, you know, because there was mail exchange and stuff, oh, you know, so it just probably took like a million years <clears throat> because like people like, like soldiers in, in the battlefield in Vietnam and Korea, um, also, I want to say, I just, I don't know how far back it goes where like, you know, family could send letters probably even back, but I know at least I can say that in Vietnam, they had, um, they had outposts, mail outposts, even in battle, which is crazy. I always thought that was insane to me, you know, like, you know, talk about what is, what is it with the post office? Rain or shine? Hail or sleet, sleet or snow. Snow, you, the mail. <laughs> imagine that postman that got to do the final delivery and it's like going through the battlefield, bombs blowing around. It's like, oh, here's your letter. They, they and then you just look at it, it's like, return to sender. <laughs> this person where he got shipped out, he's like, damn it. No longer lives here. Is there a forwarding address? Oh, well, yeah, the village over the mountain. What's interesting about the whole, like, they the army people could get mail after my grandpa died my mom brought home like boxes of his stuff and i got to go through it my grandpa kept love letters that my grandma wrote him it's like a stack this big and i was like how romantic like all these oh, years, the feeling, my heart. Like <laughs> no, it, like yes. how, it, yeah. no, but she has a point. Like mm. you know, it's funny because I I do know that Jim Walsh isn't like you know a favored person in society. Who's Jim? Walsh? That is. is that what his name is? My Matt Walsh. I don't know. Why I said oh, Jim. Matt Walsh. Matt is Walsh. So cute. So and me, oh, Laura, Jerry. There we go. <laughs> so Matt, Matt Walsh. He had a. I remember it was like a year or two ago. There was some kind of episode that he was. He he brought up the the concept of you know gone are the days of those love letters when you're in the military, especially when you're out to sea and you don't have like the telecommunications, right? You know, and even the style of writing, he 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 went back into like the Civil War, and the the deep passion because you don't know, and still to this day, you still don't know if you're gonna come home. Like I'm not sitting here saying that that fear is not the same, but it was the style of writing and the fact that like you have these letters, and it's not like <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm it's not like WTG like, way to go, but like I. You know? I <laughs> I'm I'm, no, I'm like, just thinking like new age. Okay, your boyfriend or husband or wife is overseas in the military, and your correspondence is a quick email. Said nudes, <laughs> like, and, it's like, and all of a sudden a box shows up of like ramen. <laughs> and be me and you actually. Well, I would be describing smells be like, like she gave the other me night, <laughs> dearest Lisa. The other night I cracked Lisa? my pants. Who's Lisa? <laughs> I crapped my pants in the foxhole. You would. You would. It, but it kept me warm on a cold night. Yeah. <laughs> on, a, on a cold German night. <laughs> and I believe that my smelly... They call it Vintacom. I don't know. Vintacom? <laughs> they use it's a lot like of a sci-fi <laughs> villain. Vintacom. It's true. But... <laughs> I don't know. I still think like a lot of this film, it's it's just a it, it to me, it's an easy watch. Well, we don't it have was to slow. It. I stopped it twice because I was just like, okay, I like it was one of those movies where I'm like, okay, I, I like the movie. I could feel the dis like again, the 90s movies or the 90 movie or 90s movie brought all the like nostalgia, yeah, all the 90s films 
have this feeling where it's just like, wow, this is a very, very good movie. And it has good messaging. There was diversity without feeling like you were being punched in the face with it. It was just able to exist. Like the music. The, yeah, the, I love the music. Oh, and whenever we saw the one villain guy, he would just like look dead face like, and it would be slowly zooming in on his face. It would be the same look and shot every single time. Did you guys notice that? No. Oh my I'm not God. thinking, but I never noticed it, but think of it now. He'd be like, and then zoom in. <laughs> like, yeah, right. <laughs> well, I like at the end where he told his men, because once he saw the elephant fly, he's like, no. Quang don't shoot elephants. But the thing is, the thing is, is like in the beginning, he was told to shoot the first elephant. And so I, I never thought about it until watching it this last time is what if he actually never was the one that shot that first elephant and it was like the bastard guy, you know, like the hit the, his head commander where he was like, you allow Americans come in. They give you Hershey bars. No. I think it would be more meaningful if he did, if he was the one, because then this is a way of him kind like of redemption. Redemption where he had he has the opportunity. It's right in front of him. And he's like, no. Nah, but we you don't. gotta, you gotta I honestly like even I love how like we talk about the music, how they weaved in the Dumbo song into it. Like it just felt more oh, it the, felt natural. The end. Yeah, like I liked it when it was like, have you ever seen an elephant? Nah. Now I'm starting to think, what if they did like a crossover between having to get the elephant and that movie we watch with kids trapped in the cave? You need to get the <laughs> elephant there so the waters recede. Disney, there's a, there's an idea there. Disney reanimation. <laughs> <laughs> the or the water god, or the water what, no, water they, game. No, it was a princess. That she water was princess. Asleep. She She's no, crying. So, her tears so, of the tsunami. Or the, yeah, well, yeah. One of the kids, because I remember that. Everyone was paying their respects. They were like doing their praying thing and they would go in the cave. Then one kid openly disrespected her so much. She cried and almost drowned them all. <laughs> so always be respectful. One friend, <laughs> that one friend that screws everybody up. We, we've seen it. That, that shark movie we watched, the sequel. Um, where it's okay. Let's just like, go in the oh, tunnels. Let's go scuba dive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to touch everything and knock it over. Um, you know, like, what is that one friend? And in most situations, I am that friend. So I'm like, let's do something reckless and not like regret it after. We'll just stand by and watch. <laughs> oh, no. okay. oh but I, had, okay. I had this question for Elmer, though. Mm. The answer is yes. Would I'm you not. ever jump out of a plane with like like a parachute okay i'm gonna i'm gonna be very what's the word the the it word transparent <laughs> i'm gonna be very transparent <laughs> years ago absolutely now hell no you won't even go on roller coasters no yeah Why? I, I, and I think we, maybe we had this discussion um we went because I used to be a roller coaster junkie. I went when uh, Six Flags they opened King Daka, which was at the time I think like the tallest roller coaster mm -hmm. with the fastest drop. I was there first, first row, went on it, loved it. Years later, after your mom died, we I, went. We still think it was that, huh? We still think that because you even talked about that, that it was like after your mom died. That's what you mentioned. I don't know. Well, whatever the case was. We went back to Six Flags, and we got on on the Superman ride, which you know you're anyone that's it's been like on it, like you one. you sit on it, and then all of a sudden it kind of like goes up, yeah. and you're like flying. And I went we, on it, and we did twice. We did it twice, but the first time I was having like severe what? panic attacks, it like was. just panicking that it was gonna open up on me, and I was just gonna fall out. And we went on it twice, and then. Eventually, I went on a wooden roller coaster. Which was <laughs> I just terrible. imagine it goes up and it, it flies open, and Elmer just keeps going. Yeah, and then I I'm died, flying. Katie. Thank you for laughing at that. <laughs> Have you ever seen an elephant? And then we went. Fly? We went on. Are you calling me an elephant? Yes, sir. <laughs> you know what? You're all. You know what? No one has noticed, Katie. Have you noticed something for our viewers who are watching? He shaved. Look at his hair. And, oh, it's 
It's gone. There's no well, there's because no ponytail. Like, for a while there, yeah, just like using a ponytail, so you couldn't tell. Wow. No. You no. I'm, not, I'm not homeless anymore. No, thank God, in our home. <laughs> Okay, so go on. But. So then we went on the first wheel on the first wheel, and I thought that was like you know, low level stuff. I was having such a panic attack. I like, had to hold this. I needed to get I was sweating. I was like, I need to get off this ride. I need to get off because like the first wheel we were in, I don't know how they usually are, but this one, there was no door. It was like there where, was a door. No, there wasn't you had a to, like door hop out a window to get. <laughs> It was like there was like the well, shape no. of the door that you go into to sit down, but there was no door that closed. You could put your arm out through the way oh. that you came in, and I was panicked. I was panicked, and we weren't even going fast. It was a Ferris wheel, and so like I wasn't even allowed to turn. He was like, "If you turn quickly and shake this thing, I'm going to kill you." And then he was so upset. Later like, on, so what did it? Then? Later on, I, I found the answer of, of what what happened. Later on, we had watched this uh, this YouTube uh, channel, and one of the guys on it, he was explaining how he went on a uh, on a ride and and he he started getting like the same type of feelings, like he was getting scared, and he remembered that he once talked to his dad, who his dad was always up for the roller coasters, but at a certain age, he stopped and he asked his dad, like, why is it that you don't go on roller coasters anymore? And his dad answered him, well, sometimes you just lose your balls. <laughs> and that's what happened to me. I just, I've lost my balls for, for roller coasters, for if I anything put on, depth If I put on a YouTube no, thank you. video of like extreme something, where he's not even, he's just watching it. He breaks down the sweat. I don't want, like, I don't, I don't have need you, that. Oh my like God. That. Now I have to, oh, damn. I wish we wouldn't get cop, not cop or copyright strike. She but have you, you watched? Like, no. Out. No, have, no. Have you watched? Oh my God. Next movie, I'm picking fall. Oh, huh. uh, have you watched those extreme climbing movies no. where like, they like scale the side of a the skyscraper building? And then they hang off by like one hand. Like I watch those and I feel like I'm dizzy. Okay. <laughs> you seem she's like talking, she's talking to me now. It's okay. It's okay. You're not I mean, I did I did tell the story of the water slide experience in Puerto Rico. <laughs> that I went so fast that I almost flew off the water slide. Like I I took off and I, I caught air and then I landed like I slammed hard on the end of it. I will never go on a water slide that isn't enclosed ever oh god Just that, that makes me think okay so i watched one of there's a youtube channel that like i can't remember the name of it but it like talks about horrific accidents um around like water slides roller coasters theme parks and there was a um there was a water slide and it made me, th and it just made me think of what you just said. Cause he's like, I will never go on a water slide unless there's a covering. You don't even want to go when there's a covering because a little boy was decapitated because he went high, flew up, hit the covering. And so his body kept going and it was, it was sad, but interesting. I think it's there called like your cruise uh, water slides. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, those things are tiny. No. Like I'm talking about, like you remember, like the bonsai bonsai. I think that's what it's called. In, no, the ones on these cruise ships are huge. Yeah, they are, and they go around. Yes, and they go off on the side of the ship. No, thank you, thank you, See, Katie. My for ruining that. My fear of water slides as a fat person is getting stuck, is and then somebody else comes on and after you. Getting not getting stuck like you're so fat you just like can't fit through the tube getting stuck as in you're supposed to go down and then there's like a kind of like lift up but you can't reach the up part so you just slide back down and then all of a sudden all the water collects and you drown or someone comes in behind you and you just get feet to the face get knocked out and then it's just like a pile up and then you're the one clogging the tube <laughs> Oh, I'm going and on these water slides. <laughs> I mean, I no, I would still go on a water slide. Like I think <laughs> after fun. all that. But my <laughs> my whole thing is like, oh, or what if like they, they don't uh, they don't uh, take care of the slide 
and they're not like keeping up with the maintenance. And then so if it does go over the side of the ship, it breaks off when you're in that section and you just plummet to the ocean. Well, what, what, what if it's like that movie we watched with the uh, water slides and they had blades in it and mm -hmm. stuff to chop people? Oh, up. what was what was something splash? Aqua slash or something. Aqua like slash. That? That, that terrible was movie. Yeah, that was terrible a Katie movie. pick. <laughs> no, was it me? Yeah, well, uh, it... that has you written all over it. Why would one of us pick Aqua? Slash? I thought it was Elisa. I, I, I couldn't remember no, if it was a spin not or a not. House one. Absolutely not. No, because that was during the time where we did that. And we, we did, did that the one where they with were the stuck suit, in the, 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 es the escape room. Yeah, oh, but see, we, did, we also the did the water stuff. park. The one with the lawsuits in New Jersey that it was like a documentary movie. Yeah, that was a fun one. You picked that one, I think. Action Park. I oh, that, yeah. yeah. I wish they would open Class Action Park again, but like, kind of make. I want to go and set. break my leg. <laughs> it's Katie. You no, know, my favorite. Ride, my favorite ride that they had was. This is a good idea. Let's have big, giant, generated fans underwater. You know, no one's gonna get electrocuted. <laughs> If you haven't seen that, go back and watch the Action Park episode. Yeah. Was, well, that yeah. one's not on Jiggle. That one's on the other channel. On our Saturday other, which movies. we should promote. We have another channel, a channel that existed before the Jiggle Biggle Saturday Night Movies, and you can watch it. It's all on linked YouTube. together. Yeah. Shocker, we're all live on both of them. Uh -huh. And we got a big Indonesian community over there. So yeah. if you're from Indonesia, go check it out and kind of. Tell people to come over yeah, on this channel. I mean, my goodness, all the no escape folks who get so mad that we don't have the movie. But you know what? Bushi came from yeah. Saturday Night Movies. From I want to say, um, Ramen Girl. Ah, that was yeah. the first time that Bushi came around. I forgot about it. I Ramen love Girl. that movie. That was so good. But we are reaching the end of this episode, and this week. Katie will be bringing to us oh, she is a so movie. Juiced. Wait, we, we we didn't talk about the main event. What main event? They what threw an about? elephant out of a plane, and oh, that yes. poor baby was like, ah, ah. <laughs> like <laughs> stiff and like just flipping upside down in his crate. And then the guy had to like super fly, swim. <laughs> Ray Ray Liotta. <laughs> open up his extra sheets i thought it was cool i i i liked it but you could see the fear in that elephant's eyes like it's little baby eyes like extra the fear big. the fear you mean like that they just filmed it on set and then the, the trainer was like okay move your head this way look and look scared you really think they they threw that elephant no, out? No, no, I don't. I don't think they actually did. But Girl. like maybe like in the seventies, the, they would have. <laughs> We can get another elephant. We have five in the in, in the animal room. So if this one just accidentally doesn't make the jump, then make number the two will. Um, but to think that this is this story was based off a true story, I'm like, what is the true story? I tried so I didn't, looking it up. It was that's is one it of something those like ones. It there's was, no it was, elephants. It was no, there was. It, it was like a whole thing. So I think the only real tie back besides like, you know, the elephant drop type of thing was um, remember the scene where they went to go pull the big stump and then all of a sudden they ended up with the flatbread truck. Yeah. So there was like a lot of debris and the, from what I gathered, a lot of debris and stuff that none of the animals could pull. And the, and the trucks that they had, and, and it was a struggle. And then somebody was like, well, I remember growing up around elephants. And so there, there was like a whole thing about getting elephants to certain areas to help pull like big giant fallen trees and all sorts of different things. What if it was worse than that? What if it was just like a fat Marine, like an obese Marine that did like, he always wanted to be like a, a jumper, like from the... <laughs> like airborne and they used to call him the elephant they called him dumbo boom <laughs> oh my god i'm just picturing brendan fraser and the whale i'm so, ready <laughs> so you know i was thinking because i remember a long time ago especially in the 90s there were a lot of different like elephant type films or like jungle movies and i remember there was a discussion about 
this particular elephant has been like acting because there's only like a like a small handful. How many elephant movies are there? I don't. Well, no, remember. no, not elephant movies per se, but movies with elephants in but it. But that's what I'm saying. Like I don't remember. I remember like gorillas being more prominent in the I '90s, guess. like Mighty Joe I just, Young. I, and well, I miss except for Amy and, and I miss and I was like thinking some elephant movies. It's just movies with elephants, like Jungle. You have uh, uh, George of the Jungle. Um, a movie I want to pick one day, Made in America. The same elephant was Made in, in it. America. Uh huh. It has Whoopi Goldberg and Ted Danson. I thought that was movie. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Isn't there a movie called Made in America with Jeff, Jennifer Lopez? I don't know. That she's a maid and she no, meets like. Made in Manhattan. Oh, same things. No. Same thing. <laughs> uh, Jungle same Book thing. in 1994. I love that one. That one where Mowgli was all grown, kind of grown. Well, he was all grown up. And it had Tim, uh, Tim Elbow's in it. Um, Wait, they already had a, a live, live a action yeah. Jungle Book in the 90s? Yeah. I don't remember yep. that. Then there was a movie Larger Than Life, which my mom and I watched, that had, um, uh, what's his name from the Ghostbusters? Dan Aykroyd? No. Uh, Bill Murray? Bill Murray. And... I can't remember the full premise, but he was like stuck with this elephant that he inherited because I think his dad might have been like a circus performer. Um, so this is all the same um, animal. Meet the Deedles, the one that I was going to pick a while back. Deep Impact had had this um, elephant in it. So that Deep same elephant Impact. has been in all these movies you're talking this about? This elephant has done 31 films in her life. Is it I think still she, alive? No, she I think she passed. Her name was Ty or it's yeah, T A I. Her name was um yeah, I Tobot, remember Tobot. Tobot. <laughs> um, so she okay. was born November fourth, nineteen sixty-eight, and she died May seventh, twenty twenty-one. Wow. So she was a pretty old elephant, and because I remember there was all this discussion. About how long like do elephants, elephants live? I don't know. It depends on really how they, you know, like how they they're for. kept. It, now, if okay, this is this is gonna be really controversial. So, so there 52. should be like a star for this. But if an elephant dies naturally, is that when it's okay to take the ivory? I would say so. You know. Yeah. But then, what are you gonna do with it? I don't know. And so, oh, okay. Memor and then make this a is memorial an Asian elephant. elephant. I thought you were gonna say, Africa. is that when it's okay to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> Any time is a good time to eat an elephant. I wonder what does elephant taste like? Like eating an old leather wallet. So Thai was an Asian elephant. Um, African elephants are the biggest ones, right? I Those don't are the know, ones with, like, but with I the know. Huge heads I, and the I remember seeing like this thing that one of the ways to to decipher between the two that it's is crazy. The no, no, it's the ears. The ear shapes are different, and the ear shapes of the African elephants have like a similar shape outline of the continent. It's the craziest thing. Oh, because I was thinking it was more like because the bow tack kind of looked like she had an upside down nut sack on her. <laughs> you saw it too. No, don't. No, that that one's all you, Katie. <laughs> that one is all you. An upside down. Katie nutsack. is going to be starting a new channel on how to distinguish between elephants. Just look we got one looks like a nut, and the other one doesn't. <laughs> But I mean, it, but it does. Now I can't unsee it. Now I can't unsee it because the humps with the hair. Yeah, kind of goes in. But no, did not. And 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 it and it had tiny ears. And then so the African elephants, they yeah, have they the have the big... Dumbo ears with the smooth head, no balls necessary, and the baby tail because the the Asian elephant also had that huge tail because. Uh, Dougie Doug was like riding it, like pulling it while he was skidding on the street when it was trying to run after. Was it going to freeze? Oh, is it free freezing? What are you doing? You have a phone. Yeah, but I want to share it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys are. Blame this one over here. <laughs> okay. Now you're back. <laughs> it's her fault. 
Lisa went crazy and thought she could open a third tab. A That's third dangerous. Tab. Exit, exit page. It's going to exit the whole page. No, it's it's only showing the new tab. Just exit that. All right. And then you guys disappear. Bloop. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, the little character on our Google has X's over his eyes. You've killed our computer. <laughs> no, don't keep doing that. That's not doing anything. We've established. Yeah, we're back. Okay. <laughs> so what's the movie that Katie has been juiced to watch for a year? Unless so she's changed years. it. No. Unless she's changed it. But I Katie, told her she's not allowed because I already did the thumbnail. Next week is your pick. What are you having us watch? Why did you pick it? And I well, bet you're going to love the movie. Well, there was a slight change. I am now picking <laughs> the Tammy look. No, I'm joking. Okay, so next week I picked, drum roll please, The Little Mermaid live action. I haven't seen this movie. The only reason why I want to watch it is because Melissa McCarthy, Melissa McCarthy is playing Ursula, and apparently she could reason. see. That's not the only reason. That's I know that's not the only reason. reason. Um, no, th th like that's the only positive. Like I know, I know this movie's gonna suck, but that's the only positive that I'm like, okay, at least she's in it. She'll bring the comedy, and apparently she's she could sing, which I did not even know that was a thing. Mm -hmm. So. That surprised me. I really want to finally hear that scuttlebutt song. Everyone oh. was like, this oh, is it's stupid. terrible. I'm going to just say it right now. I, it's terrible. I heard half. I will say this. I don't have any kind of attachment to the movie, to the original yeah, movie at all. Either. And so I, I feel like I'm going to go in it the same way that I went to the live action Aladdin, yeah. which honestly, there was a lot of it that I did enjoy when we watched it. Will you didn't Smith. like it so much. Will I only um, like Will Smith. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to go into this and it's, see what it's, happens. It's going to be another uh, Disney woke remake. I just hope like... And Katie's going to love it. She's going to be like, wow, I didn't know. Like, <laughs> I, I just I just feel that like what we're seeing the backlash with Snow White, how like the actress is like, this time it's not about true love. She's a strong, independent woman. She don't need a man. And mm. instead of my dwarves, it's the seven magical creatures. And it's just like, well, at this point, you're not even remaking the story. Like, if you want to change all the things, make it its own original story. Like with Little Mermaid. And everyone is all like, if you don't like the new Black Ariel, you're racist. No, that's not it. The mm -hmm. point is, is if you're going to make the Disney cartoon into a action movie or into a live action movie... Make it the Disney cartoon. Don't reimagine it because I would have sure. rather just see like seen a live action where Disney's like you met you met Ariel, but now we have blank, and then make her own original character, her own original story. Yeah. Because I mean, Triton was only the king of like his sea or something, or the whole sea. The whole sea, because he was Poseidon. Okay, so th there's that, but then. Somewhere else in the world, there's other people. There's other, like, I don't know. So I'll get back. I'll get into it oh, yeah. next week. I'm, I'm, back. I'm hoping I, I, I enjoy it. And it's not just like a hate watch. Because I heard that the girl can sing, like the girl playing Ariel. Uh, but then they also changed Kiss the Girl and made it like. They did, which we can't blame her for that. That's Lin-Manuel. Yeah. But we'll get into it because I am so over Lin-Manuel. Mm -hmm. Who is that? The guy that did Hamilton, and then he did oh. he did the whole damn score for what was it? Encanto. Oh, another movie that we kind of. Oh wait, that was that movie. Yeah. Oh. Did, anyway. did we ever wait? Speaking of Encanto, did we ever review? Um, Coco? Oh God, what's that? Wait, what did you say? Coco. Yeah, that's what I want. I'm. I'm. I gotta look. Because I'm considering if my pick is closer to like Halloween. Day of the Dead. Yes, I might pick it, and then I can I can debate the two because because I, I think I watched it last year or the year or year before. I love Coco, and I was shocked and surprised because at first I'm like the trailer looks stupid, but I actually watched. It. I was like, same. Wow, this kind of hit me in the feelings because mm -hmm. like 
Damn. Everything. Yeah, it's, a good, it's a really good movie. <laughs> And the animation, of course, because that oh, was beautiful. So before we sign off, yeah. does anybody have any last words about Operation Dumbo Drop? I, for me, I would say that if you are looking for like an easy family movie, then you got like young kids and you kind of want to do like a 90s throwback with your kids. I would say it's an easy watch, you know, but if you're just a bunch of adults, like and you never really watched the movie then you can skip it. I'd say at least watch it uh, once in your life and then come here and watch our review and comment below and tell us your thoughts on the movie mm -hmm. because we always want to hear what other people thought of the movie. Mm -hmm. And, and oh, oh, I'll let you no, do that. On. Uh, one last thing. I don't think we mentioned it. When the bad guys come and they're like, oh, you got another elephant. And Dougie Doug runs and he's just like shooting randomly. <laughs> That's another comedy part. That was funny. And the bullets magically never fell down. Disney. Disney what about magic. you? Me, I would say if you have young kids, uh, they would enjoy this movie. And if you're an adult, then yeah, I, it, I could say you can you can skip this one. You Unless you're really into like Disney movies, like yeah. live action Disney movies, then yeah. Well, watch. okay. If you want to see Ray Liotta in his hot days, mm. and if you want to see Chris Rock morphed into a different person, you'll enjoy this movie. Watch My Cool Runnings. <laughs> <laughs> cool Runnings was a Disney movie, right? Well, it sure was. I would say watch Cool Runnings instead of this. If you're okay, yeah, he, I would much say funnier. yes. I, I would. I would agree. Cool Runnings is a better film than this. Oh my god! So, and I just thought of something. I got war military Disney classic. I could have picked the original M Little Mermaid because there was a warring ship because Eric was in battle and that's when he gets thrown off the ship and that's, that's how Ariel... A that's a stretch. You know, that's a stretch. But it's a Disney classic. But the main category it's is war. military <laughs> or war. No, there get out of goes. here. You just but then, but then they're it. warring... They're war... They're, Fighting against Ursula at the end, so that's another. Oh problem. my god! Their hearts are <laughs> warring. <laughs> well, okay, sign us out. After after hearing that, <laughs> all I got to say is thank you for joining us this week, as we reviewed Operation Dumbo Drop. Come back and check us out next week, where we will be reviewing Katie's pick, The Little Mermaid live action. And remember, you know, leave your it's comments. It's on Disney Plus. It's on Disney Plus. Uh, leave your comments and let us know uh, how you feel about Operation Dumbo Drop and if you've ever watched it and if you have a nostalgic connection to it and why that is. But until then, you can always catch us on YouTube and Spotify and Instagram for all updates. This is the Jiggle Biggle, and we're out of here for another week. See you later. Bye. Bye. You are ten. <laughs> Tomat. <laughs>